An emergency pumping operation is underway in Manatee County at the Piney Point Gypsum Stack. The decommissioned stack has more than 400 million gallons of highly contaminated water at the top. Managers of the stack have recently detected a leak and they're trying to avert a major failure at this point. Eight on your side is Jeff Patterson joining us live from Manatee County with more details on this. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. This phosphogypsum stack has been here since the 1960s, but that newly detected leak is causing major concerns. This is what the top of the phosphogypsum stack looks like from Eagle 8 HD. Several cells of highly contaminated wastewater that have been collecting here for years. Now, a newly detected leak is causing concerns that there could be a breach of the stack, sending millions of gallons of wastewater into the surrounding area. What happens when that thing tears loose and comes down Bud Road and Road? What happens to our drinking water? Managers of the site are currently pumping down the wastewater to find the leak. Ada McPherson has lived here her entire life and says that's not a good idea either. And that's wrong, letting it out into the Gulf. What about the environment out there, the fish and all of that? Justin Bloom with the Sarasota Waterkeepers agrees. Right now, they're discharging into Piney Point Creek. Um, any amount of this water that goes to surface waters and into Tampa Bay is bad. It's a problem that Glenn Compton with Minnesota 88 has been warning about for many years. There is no economically feasible or environmentally sound way to close this stack. Uh, there's going to be a price to be paid. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be done by, by uh, total annihilation of the environment of the surrounding area, but that's a real possibility. Glenn Compton says the private company that owns this gypsum stack has filed for bankruptcy in the past. He says if they cannot manage this leak, it may fall to the federal EPA to clean it up or to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection to clean it up, and that could cost taxpayers millions of dollars. Live in Manatee County, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.